College aged individuals are the most susceptible to a certain type of fraud, costing some 25,000 bucks. NBC 15's Mark Zarsvald spoke with a fraud investigator. Marcus, often we hear about scams targeting our older community, but not this one. Elizabeth, this is a deposit scam and it affects college kids. Experts say the criminals thinking here to target students looking for part time work that doesn't interfere with their studies. I've never fallen for something like this before, and it's just crazy how advanced things are getting. UW-Madison senior Lauren Liebman fell for the recent USPS scam and says she's also seen deposit frauds come through her email. When people say they target older people, that's not true at all. Especially when you're in college and you have that EDU address, that everyone says that is like prime real estate to send out phishing emails to because, you know, there's just so many kids and sometimes they can be so gullible. It comes in the form of quick cash or an easy way for college students to get paid while also taking classes. The one that I see most often is an email that's sent out uh, talking about, oh, I need a personal assistant and you can work from home and you'll make 600 to $700 a week. And it looks real. Scammers pretend to be an employer and send students a fake check. Then when students deposit the money, they'll spend it or send it back to the fake employer. They see a dollar sign associated with a quick opportunity to make some money. Um, and a lot of times they don't look much further past that. Deposit fraud investigator Jessica Wagner says these scams cost her young clients $2,500 to $7,000 on average. It's even more devastating, especially when, you know, they're going to college, they're trying to start their lives. Wagner says ask questions, check in with your bank before depositing checks from an employer you've never met, and beware if someone sends you money but asks you to send some of it back. If you did the deposit, if you spent the money, or if you authorized these transactions, unfortunately our hands are kind of tied. Wagner says young people are so used to communicating exclusively online, they fall for deposit scammers because they're used to not meeting them face to face. Live in the newsroom, Marcus Arzvold, NBC 15.